Okay, so here we're back for another quick wee video and I can't believe it, but Nvidia have gone and done it again. They've gone and made another more efficient, better mining graphics card. They've created, <laughs> they've created the RTX E4500 or 4500 graphics card. Oh my God. So we're going to go and check it out. It's just been announced. It was um, announced within under 24 hours ago. So let's go and see the specs of it and let's go and see if we can work out possibly what it's going to be able to get while mining Ethereum. Come on, let's go and check. Come on. So you can see over here, we're over on PNY, which they, they make obviously a lot of the um, RTX 8000 series graphics cards. And you can see here on their official website, NVIDIA RTX A 4500. So yeah, and it's obviously it's got its SKU and all that sort of stuff and it's got its images. And you can kind of see if you think about it, look at this card, this looks like an A5000 card in terms of the cooler that it's got on there. So I'm instantly thinking when I see that, when I've seen these pictures, I don't even know the specs yet, but I've instantly seen the pictures and I'm thinking this is going to... You know, there's probably going to be more um, uh, TDP or there's going to be more power available on this card compared to an A4000. And also it's making me think possibly could they have just taken the A5000 cooler and put it, um, like basically the same cooler and put it on, uh, onto this card. And I know from personal experience the A5000 cooler, stock cooler is actually a really good cooler. So, hey, I'm, I'm liking the sounds of this card already. Let's go and check out the specs. So in their bump here, or when I say bump, I just mean in their information here, okay? There are a couple paragraphs in terms of talking about it. Um, they're saying here that it's got combined 20 gigabytes of uh, ultra-fast memory. So that is more than the A4000 and less than the A5000. So you can see where they're trying to hit the market obviously this is obviously for really professionals doing video editing and all sorts of stuff here we have the highlights and they're telling that they're saying they've got 7168 cores they've uh, CUDA cores they've got tensor cores of 224 and they've got ray tracing cores 56 ray tracing cores that's with 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 with ECC, a memory interface of 320 bit, a memory bandwidth of 640 gigabytes per second, which is obviously very important for doing memory intensive work. So in terms of mining, obviously this is um, not too bad. It's not too bad. And you can see, like I was saying there, 200 watts max power consumption so this is this card is very much like like it says it's very much between the a4000 and the a5000 in terms of specs it's got more power and um, it's got more gpu memory and let's go and look at actually the, the specific bandwidths between uh, the three cards and also let's go and look at the CUDA cores between the three cards let's go and see actually what's happening there okay so I've just taken off PNY website the okay but we actually call them the highlights for the A4000 the A4500 and the A5000 and you can see like basically just like the name of the card uh, signifies the specs sit right between the A4000 and the A5000, you can see as in terms of power, you've got your 140 on the A4000, 200 now on this new card, and on the A5000, 230 watts. And then as we go up to the memory, um, you can see the bandwidths, um, obviously it lies between the two, uh, the two cards again. And again, the, the capacity, the memory capacity uh, lies between them as well. This has got 20 gigabytes, A5000 has got 24 gigabytes. And again, like as you can see, the A4000 16 gigabytes. 
and basically the same is true for the cores as well you, you look at you compare the cores here as you can see and again um, it's just a step up the A4500 is just a step up from the A4000 so what do I think this is going to achieve in terms of Ethereum well let's do a wee calculation and I'm going to hazard a guess and we'll see when it comes out and when I get my hands on it we can compare why why guessed it would achieve in Ethereum to what it actually achieves in Ethereum. Let's let's go and do a wee calculation. Come on, it'll be a bit of fun. It'll be a bit of fun. I'm gonna hazard a guess, and it is a pure guess, but to some degree there's some there's some method in the madness. I'm gonna hazard a guess that the A4500 is going to be achieving something between A5 and A3 mega hash per second. I'm not going to say what sort of wattage, but I'm going to say it's going to be around 85 to 83 mega hash per second, okay? And to be honest, if I was given more of a kind of, you know, not so specific hash rate, I would say it's going to be in, it's going to be in the 80s. Somewhere in the 80s, that's what we're going to get from this card while mining Ethereum. So you can see what I've done is, just explain it a wee bit, I've put A4000 and... You know, it's quite, you can basically achieve 60 mega hash. You can achieve, I know you can achieve more, but we're just going for like, you know, kind of solid figures. 60 mega hash per second. And that's with a memory bandwidth, MBW memory bandwidth of 448 gigabytes per second. We've also got a 5000, which is, you know, achieves very easily 100 mega hash per second. So the A5000 achieves 100 mega hash per second with a memory bandwidth of 768 gigabytes per second. So if I was calculating it, just to get a somewhat figure, I did 60 mega hash divided by 448 and that gives you 0 0.33 or 0 0.34. And you notice it's very similar with the A5000 if we do 100 divided by 768. Again, 0 0.13. So, you know, it's very, very close, right? And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the 0 0.13 and I'm timesing it by the memory bandwidth, which is 640. And we're getting 83. And I know, I know, like, obviously, there'll be some people out there. This is not exact. I'm just, I'm just speculating, having a bit of fun here. But to be honest, you can, you can tell from the memory bandwidth roughly what you're going to get in ETH. Well, mine in ETH. There is some other considerations to take into account, but you can definitely roughly go with this figure. Uh, I would say, anyway. Please tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. I'll, I'll look forward to it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I think we're going to begin in the 80s in terms of Mega Ash from this card. So I can't wait to find out what the MSRP is. I'm going to go and have a quick look and see if I can find out what it is. So that was the RTX A4500. And I had a wee look around to see if I could see if there was a MSRP price or if there was a proposed date for this card coming out and unfortunately I couldn't find either so it's definitely a little bit a little bit disappointing we can't we can't get those figures because obviously in terms of mining it's all about bang for buck so we don't know what this card what its price point is and obviously that's very important obviously if you're if you're doing your professional work on it as well you want to know what the price is and all that sort of stuff so we'll have to watch this space in terms of price and also in terms of when it's coming out obviously i don't know maybe it's coming out 2021 not too sure um but i would imagine if it's not 2021 it's definitely going to be first quarter or second quarter 2022 for sure also i gotta say i saw a wee rumor that there might be a a5500 graphics card as well so again watch the space for that as well that'll be interesting to see what specs it has and uh, what sort of price point it comes to the market so that's going to be dead dead interesting 
and just before you leave i got to say as you're going through please smash that like button it really really helps the channel out please consider subscribing as well and whenever this card does come out the 4500 i'm going to be reviewing it on this channel and we can find out if my prediction was correct or if it was wrong anyway thanks so much for watching hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you on the next one bye bye